Hi guys, it's your girl Jazz and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't been using this palette um, in a while. It's an oldie but a goodie. Can you guess what it is? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you have it in your box. So today we are going to do some shimmer and some glitter um, that I've been wanting to try. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned to see how I got it with an oldie but a goodie palette. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to use my primer, which I've really been liking. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, and it's a little bit of a putty. I'm going to use that and do more of the entirety of my face besides my nose. This a little bit reminds me of the Tatcha Primer, but of course it's not. I wouldn't say it's a whole dupe for it, but I would say it's pretty close. Next, I'm going to go in with my nice um, kind of radiant uh, foundation that I've been liking lately. Um, it's not too heavy. Um, I usually do about two pumps of it. can usually give me a nice medium coverage all over my face. I don't have like a lot of huge problems with my face, so I usually don't go for full, full coverage. So this is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. Um, I am in the shade 120 Caramel. It has collagen and hyaluronic acid in it, so that's really good for me because I am a little bit more on the drier side. So I like to do two pumps on the back of my hand. I rarely will actually pump it on my face it's very rare that I do that I usually put it on the back of my hand just so I can make sure I can control the coverage so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go in with my brush and I usually start on the middle of my face and then work my way out because usually the center of my face is where I need the most coverage as far as color and tone everywhere else is a little bit darker on the outside of my face and I'm gonna put contour in in that area anyway so I don't really need to put that much foundation in that area. All right, now I'm actually gonna go in, I've been trying this new trick, I'm gonna see if it actually works. So I'm gonna use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX. It's a mattifying primer. I am going to take this, and I've already put a little bit of foundation on my nose, but now I'm gonna go in and take a little bit put it on the corners of my nose and put a little bit more foundation there I'm gonna see how it works you know there's no rules to makeup but okay let's put a little bit more on the nose I really hope this works gonna be like the worst thing ever go out somewhere and then you'll be like girl what's wrong with your nose and like oh uh, my bad <laughs> so far so good so next I'm going to go in with my concealer. I've really been liking the e.l.f. concealers lately. So I'm going to do the Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I've got two different ones. One in Tan Sand and the other in Tan Neutral. And I'm going to put those on and let's see how it works. So I'm going to take my Tan Neutral shade. <laughs> And go in here. And then I'm going to take the tan sand and go in a little bit more there. I'm also going to use this to prep my eyelids for some shadow. So I'm really excited about this shimmer we about to put on. Sponge. And then sometimes I like, so you see how like the concealer is obviously not blended all the way. Sometimes I like to leave it like that and then go in with my foundation brush and then kind of tap out the edges. Same thing with my chin. Kind of take my brush and fan that out. 
Now to brighten it up just a little bit more, I'm going in, like I said before, with the Tan Sand shade. Same concealer, same brand, just different shade. I'm just gonna do like literally like the tiniest dot right in the inner corner. So just to give it a little bit more brightness, a little bit more pop. I kind of like that when I am doing shimmers or something a little bit more dramatic on my eye. I just like the way it looks. That's just me though. Same thing going on with my sponge. Okay, I'm liking how bright I am. So now I'm gonna go in my brush again, kind of clear things up around my nose. And now it's time to do my powder. So for my powder today, I'm gonna do my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Sometimes I go back and forth between um, Kat Von D and Laura Mercier. I mean, to me, these are two really good ones. Um, to me, they're both really translucent. Um, I mean, ounces wise, you get more in Laura Mercier than you do in Kat Von D, but I mean, hey. They both last a really long time unless you're like severely baking yourself, which let's be honest, you don't need to do all that. A little bit of bakage is fine. <laughs> all right, to put on my powder underneath my eye, I'm going in with like more tapered brush. This one is particularly from Sephora, but I mean, as long as you got the brush to do the job, do the job, baby, do the job. I'm putting a little bit on because I am going to go over with a different powder than this one just to give a little bit more color back to my under eye because sometimes when I put on the translucent powders with me obviously having darker skin it can sometimes make it look really really white so I am going to go back in with a color that is more closer to my skin tone on top of this later on but I'm going to let this kind of bake if you will a little bit more. I'm gonna get the sides of my nose. It can be a little messy. Not too worried about that. Next, I'm gonna go in with my contour. I'm gonna do a cream contour and a powder contour. That's just me. That's how I like it. Period. Okay. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. I mean, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it unless you're trying to find something new. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. in shade Rich Cocoa. And do a couple swipes. <gasps> Perfect, just like that. And then I'm gonna blend her in. I like to go with my contour shade about four shades darker than what I naturally am. If I want it to be like, you know she got a contour on. Now, if I want it to be very, very subtle, I'll go with maybe like one to two shades darker than what I am. So just keep that in mind when you're picking out your contour shade, whether it be powder or cream, okay? Keep that in mind. So for this, I am gonna actually use a brush. What brush? I don't know, cause she got a lot to choose from. I'm gonna go with this brush. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. You can use so many different brushes to do contour, especially when it comes to like cream versus powder. If you want it to be like really harsh or if you want it to be like really, really soft, like this right here is harsh. Don't walk out the house like this. This is not okay. Like. Now tip, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush. If you used a sponge to put on your foundation, take that same sponge, go back in and kind of blend those lines together. Same thing that I did with my um, concealer that I did earlier for underneath my eyes. Kind of just blends the two together, makes it have like that softer line, which we want, but we don't want it to be so one word I can think of is harsh. You just don't want any harsh, harsh lines. Like that. We've almost arrived, people. We've almost arrived. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my contour powder. I'm gonna use the NYX Three Step Sculpting. And 
I am going to use, of course, the contour powder that's here at the bottom. And then I'm also gonna go in a little bit with this yellow shade, not too much, more so using this on my eyelid to kind of cover up the concealer, just so it has a nice powdered finish. So that way when I go in with the um, colors in the palette for my eyes, that they have a little bit of a powder there just to help kind of smooth things out. And I'm gonna take what's kind of left on my brush and put it on my neck. I don't like to put foundation on my neck. All right, now it's time to go in with the powder that I told you guys I was gonna go in with earlier in the video. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes. This is going to bring a little bit more of that color back to my face, make it look a little bit more natural. I'm not gonna to use too much, but I am gonna go in with the same brush that I used earlier to put the powder underneath. That way it's not too, too heavy because like I already said, we did already bake underneath the eyes. So this is more to just put the color back into my under eye area, make sure that there's no white cast, which normally with Laura Mercier, you do not get that. It's pretty translucent. Okay, now I'm going in with the yellow shade that's in the contour, putting that on my lids to brighten it a little bit before we go to town with the eyeshadow, which I'm excited. I haven't done a good use out of this palette in a minute because it is older, but... When I show you guys, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that palette. So the palette that I'm going to use today is going to be none other than, drum roll, Urban Decay. I have not used the Naked 3 palette in so long. There's just so many new palettes that come out and you kind of get excited about those and you want to use those. So I'm going to go back to an oldie, but goodie, very goodie, um, because I'm going to use some rose gold glitter. And I mean, this whole palette is rose gold. So like, why not use it? You know what I'm saying? So this is what the palette looks like here. I mean, it comes with a brush. You got from the lighter rose gold to the darker rose gold. So I'm going to get into this palette. I'm going to be using the shades limit nooner a little bit of burnout and then i'm going in with what i'm really excited to use today because it's new to me um the pixie by petra i bought these in two different shades so i bought the rose gold and the crystalline i bought these two shades i thought they just looked really pretty um in the packaging and i mean who doesn't love shimmer so i'm gonna put the rose gold one on top so let's see what happens when we use them all right so i'm going in with the shade nooner first i'm gonna do kind of a u shape kind of gonna do like a peekaboo eye look with this because I really want that shimmer to be like the star of the show. So I'm gonna put most of the shimmer in the center here and then pop that liquid glitter right on top. I feel like the best way to do your eyeshadow is to keep your eye open, not close it all the way because you can get those wrinkles in your eyes. So I always like to put my handheld mirror like this down a little bit and then keep my head kind of tilted up like I'm looking at you, but then look down into the mirror. It'll relax your eyelid so it lays pretty much flat and then you can just go back and forth and do what you got to do. Next, I'm going to go in with a clean brush has no eyeshadow on it at all and it's just kind of a fluffy brush i'm gonna go back and forth along the edges make sure everything's blended out the way i like it now i'm gonna go in with a more compacted brush so i can put the shade limit right in the center of my eyelid this is going to start to create that more it can look kind of like a cut crease but i'm really not trying to go like strictly cut crease on it 
but this is the shade Limit. I'm gonna pop that right in the center of the eyelid. Okay, now that I've got the color to where I want it, I'm gonna go in a little bit with that Burnout shade and I'm actually gonna use my finger. This Burnout has a little bit of shimmer and so I'm gonna take that and kind of just put it right on top. Ooh, I'm getting little pieces, that's okay. Now with the first brush that I use for the very first shade, I'm gonna take that brush again and just kind of go back and forth between where I put the lighter shade, which was Limit, and where I put Nooner and kind of just make sure both of those colors are merged together. All right, now I'm gonna scoot you a little bit closer just so you can see what it looks like really merged together. And then I'm going to pop that glitter on top, which we're all excited about. All right, we're a little bit closer. We're getting friendly, we're getting cozy. So now I'm gonna go in with the Petra. This is so cute. I love the packaging. So you can use the wand or you can put it on your finger and then use your finger to apply it. I kind of like applying it with the applicator and then using my finger to go around. Now, if you're using some really wonky shades that aren't even the same color as this, I would totally recommend putting this on your finger, then applying it. Otherwise, you will probably get some of the um, shadow that you're putting on here. And if it's like a really dark black or like blue or something, that's obviously not rose gold you probably won't like getting it on there. So I would definitely put it on your finger and then apply it. But since I'm using pretty much the same color, I'm just gonna take this and put it right on there. So I'm gonna tap it right in the center. And then, like I said, I'm gonna go in with my ring finger. Just kind of spread that around. All right, I kind of got it where I like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my other eye off camera and then I'll come back so we can do some brows, all right? See you in a second. All right, so I'm back. I did my other eye. I really like how it turned out. So now I'm gonna go in with my mascara and my eyeliner. Today I'm gonna do more of a brownish smoky liner and then I'm also gonna put some shadow underneath. So for the brown liner, I'm going to use also by Pixie by Petra, I'm gonna use this brown shade. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen, and it's in the shade Black Cocoa. So I'm gonna use that underneath and a little bit on top as like a tight line, just because I don't wanna take away from that nice glittery shadow that I have on. So more of a tight line on the top just to give my lash line some definition, cause Lord knows I need it. Okay, if you look closely, you can kind of see the difference. My lash line just looks a little bit thicker, not too crazy. And then I'm gonna do my bottom. Perfect, just like that. So you can see this eye here looks a little bit more defined. This one, not so much. So I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush here. This one particularly is from Morphe, the E36. I'm gonna go in with the Nooner shade that I used on the top of my eye. And I'm gonna take it on the bottom and lightly kind of touch it in there with the liner that I use kind of merging the eyeliner and eyeshadow together just to smoke it out just a little bit. Same thing on the other side. Oh my God. No, not the same thing on the other side. Girl, you don't got nothing on that eye. Duh. Okay, let's try the eyeliner on the other side. All right, now I've got it where I want it on my liner. Next, I'm gonna go in with a new mascara that I really wanted to try. It is by Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift. I've been wanting to try this. It's got kind of like that hourglass shape brush on it. So I was thinking it'd be kind of nice. It's supposed to give you a dramatic length, volume and lift. I mean, who doesn't want all of that stuff? It sounds really nice. So let's see how this works. See if I really like it. I mean, oh, comes out really nice. Nice and 
really soft so we're gonna go in with that and then I'm gonna pop some lashes on uh, but you guys have seen me do that a million times so the lashes that I am gonna use today are the kiss lash couture lashes and these are the naked drama collection and I'm using the ones in the name veil so course you can only get these at Walgreens that's what it says so you want to stop by and pick some of those up um, so I'm gonna do my mascara and my lashes off camera and then I'll be right back alrighty so off camera I went ahead and put my lashes on I did my brows if you have not seen my brow tutorial please go watch it after this because that's how I normally do my brows so next I'm going to do my highlighter and for today's highlighter I'm going to use the ColourPop and this is in the Dewdrop collection for luster dust and I mean it's like pure gold just kidding <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my fan brush and I'm gonna get a little bit on there not too much because this is like pow 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 highlight I mean honey really oh my god it's so pretty Oh my God, it looks so pretty. <laughs> Honestly, you can tell I've been on TikTok. I mean, let's be honest. Who hasn't been on TikTok? So yes, I'm gonna do that highlighter. I'm not gonna do it on my nose. That's just me. My nose gets kind of, you know, oily. Don't really wanna put any shimmer on that. That's just me. Do you, boo-boo so next i'm gonna go into oh actually let me tell you how this mascara went because i actually really liked it i feel like it curled my lashes really really well um and i didn't have to put on like extra extra coats so this is i would say 10 out of 10 so i'd recommend it it's the falsies lash lift maybelline mascara so you can go get it i got mine at walgreens but i'm assuming they probably carry it at other places that maybelline is sold okay now back to the real tea oh why this head itching yeah. i'm gonna go on to my lips i'm going to use a more glossy lip today so i'm trying to decide between the morphe which i mean you can tell by the packaging this gloss is really loved by me um it's the pixie shade and then this one is number 64 unreal from maybelline the hot vivid lacquer lipstick lip glossy so i don't know one's a little bit darker one's a little bit lighter mm, i'm gonna go with morphe i mean i just i can't get enough of it i really like it it's really glossy it's not too tacky but it just gives me like the best shine that i need so I'm going to go in with that. I'm not going to do a lip liner. I want the focus to be more so on my eyes. So I'm going to keep the lip as natural as possible. Oh, yes, honey. Now it's time to set the face. Of course, we want it to stay forever and never go away till we wash it off. So I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This one's a really good one. I also like the um, Morphe one because I really like that mist. If this was in a mist, honey, we would have some serious, serious stay on our hands. So I'm going to spray this a couple times. I mean, just drown yourself in it, why don't you? And then... Yes, it's time to fan it. And that is the finished look. I mean, honey, I think the overall look looks fantastic. I think it's something you guys could absolutely do on your own at home. I mean, this Naked 3 palette, I mean, this is like a holy grail. Most of what like everybody has this palette at home especially makeup artists I mean it's kind of like a staple in your makeup kit just because I mean the shades in here are really that good um so 
Urban Decay always comes through when it's time to do some shadows. So of course, if you love watching my videos, you've got to subscribe so we can get some more videos to you. Um, of course, like and comment below if you love it, if you like it, if you're like, mm, girl, I got to tell you about yourself. Whatever you feel like saying, I want to hear it. Um, I mean, I got some more videos coming out soon, so I hope you guys will keep watching because I like when you watch my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.